everybody, and thank you for joining us on this, what for me at least here in New York City is a snowy Wednesday afternoon. Uh, there are quite a few shops who are still logging in, so I'm going to give them about 30 seconds, and then we will officially kick off and launch for 2021, the Shop Talk with Tim series. We're really excited to have you with us. Glad that you're able to carve out some time in your day. I promise to make it uh, well worth your time and hopefully uh, raise an eyebrow, give you some stuff to think about, get you motivated. All right. Well, that 30 seconds went like that. So let's continue. So this is the official welcome. This is a collaboration between two independent companies whose sole focus is helping you the retail florist to prosper to make more money and to work smarter floral strategy is my company i'll tell you about that momentarily and then flower shop network awesome company we've been working with them for a long time so this series is called shop talk with tim today's topic short and sweet we're going to dive in and talk about um, a couple things you can do for valentine's day because it's not too late we turned the calendar on February, but there's still opportunity to make some, uh, have an impact on your holiday. You know, we're all expecting this to be a very kind of weird and wacky holiday for many reasons, including the fact that it's landing on a Sunday, which historically means lower sales, but that may not be the case because our friend COVID is still hanging around and impacting buying and shopping patterns and, and lots of, uh, lots of other things. So, um, what, um, I want to remind everybody of also is that you have the opportunity to watch our full Valentine boot camp. For 10 years now, my company has been producing a webinar every month called Valent, pardon me, every year <laughs> called Valentine Boot Camp. This is our 10th year. It was produced last month. It's all recorded now, but um, as an FSN member, you can get a get a sizable discount. You can get access to the recordings and watch them. So I encourage you to do that. Also, we won't do this every month, but on this opening session, I wanted to take just a, a second and explain to the, many of you who are joining us, uh, who know nothing about me and my company, who I am and what I do. So there's me, my name is Tim Huckabee. I've been in the flower industry since 1993, so I'm closing in on 30 years. And what, um, what I did was worked at a very busy flower shop and did everything that you do on any given day, answer the phone, sweep the floor, wait on a customer, make a delivery, deal with a complaint, process a shipment of incoming flowers. Left in 1997, started my company Floral Strategy with one solitary purpose, bring best practices to the floral industry. And I've been doing that now for quite a long time. Up until about two years ago, the model was that I visited stores. And on that opening panel, you saw some feedback from a couple of stores who commented on when Tim came to our store. We've moved to a webinar model because obviously that's quicker, easier, more cost effective, and it gets recorded. But I'm proud to say we have over 7,000 different flower shops on five continents, ranging from literally stores in towns of 1,200 to stores in city centers like New York and Chicago and Sydney, Australia and London, England, who are using these practices. Whether you are new to the industry or you're a 35-year veteran, I promise at some point you will learn something new and something exciting and something challenging from what we teach. So what we're going to do today in our short time together is focus on a couple of um, what I call opportunities that present themselves at Valentine's Day that sometimes we're just too busy to kind of connect the dots and, and make it happen and realize that we can do this. And here they are. Bundles. Bundles are a great way of selling, and I'll give you some examples of them. And if you don't do these, you need to do them. Nice thing about this, you still have plenty of time. You can easily put a bundle up on your website, talk about it with your staff. Add-ons. Really easy for us to, to make excuses. Oh, we're so busy, or if customers want them, they're going to buy them. No more excuses. You're sitting on a gold mine. We need to sell more of these. And then this is really kind of going to the fringe. This is some kind of hardcore extreme customer service in selling extra sales, selling an additional design or plant or rose arrangement to a customer who has already purchased from you. So let me talk about what I, what I mean. So to start, bundles. Short and sweet, what we want to do is make it easier for a customer to spend more money at your store. And bundles work. 
Think about it this way. You go into a store to go clothes shopping. You see an outfit on a mannequin. That essentially is a bundle. That's where somebody is taking the time and said to you visually, all of these elements go together. Buy them in one shot. It'll make your life better. So that's kind of what we need to do at Valentine's Day. And rather than breaking it down with the separate balloon, the separate chocolates, the separate teddy bear all the time, and I'm not saying that you can't do that or you shouldn't do that, but this is a really smart way to put it all together. And here's what, what I've seen lots of the flower shops that we work with do. Number one, they'll name the bundle. They might call it the lover surprise, or you know, you can come up with a creative name. That might be a fun exercise for you and your team. Number two, it doesn't have to be a discount. Just because you're pairing a teddy bear or a box of chocolates with the roses doesn't mean you have to give them money off. You may opt to do that because you know money motivates and when a customer knows they're saving a couple of bucks, that might motivate them even further to grab the bundle. And bottom line is make it easy for customers to buy these. Feature them in your store put them on your website, make sure that you've got a breakdown with bullet point terminology for your team. So when we are in that, that throes of the Valentine craziness and the phones are just like lighting up, you can educate a customer that, oh, this year we're featuring our Lovers Deluxe bundle, which pairs this and this and this, and this is the price customers will buy it. And it just makes your job a little bit easier as well, because in advance, depending on the logistics in your store and the products you're using, you can even have these packaged together. So bundles work, customers like them, and it's a very simple, passive way to increase the average value of a Valentine sale that you're making in your store. I am a huge fan and a big advocate of selling additional items. Sell those balloons, sell those teddy bears, sell those chocolates. You've got time to do it. It only takes literally 15 seconds. But here's the problem, okay? And I encounter this every single week when my team and I train store after store after store. We get all these excuses. We get either, well, I'm just so busy. Respectfully, you can still take 15 seconds to educate a customer about a balloon, a box of chocolates, a teddy bear. Pushback we get is, well, I don't wanna seem pushy. You're not being pushy, to the contrary, you're actually helping a customer to personalize his or her sale. What I love so much about selling these, and by the way, I will be on the phone. Starting this Sunday, I'm gonna be working 12 hour shifts with a major flower shop in the Southwest, answering the phones, waiting on customers. So what's gonna happen, um, there is I'm going to make the time to educate customers. I'm going to use the process I'm going to introduce you to momentarily. And not only will I sell lots of them, I'm going to get thank yous for, from customers. That's the interesting thing. They constantly say, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I forgot about balloons. Or I didn't know that you carried chocolate. Or that's good to know that I can add a teddy bear. So they're literally going to thank you for letting them spend more money, which to me is just incredibly amazing. Here is the hook, here is the advice, here is the expert technique I can give you. Get away from the old fashioned, tired approach of asking a customer, do you wanna add anything else? If I'm a customer, what does that mean? Curly fries? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't ask a customer, do you wanna add a teddy bear? As a customer, you made it very easy for me to say no, and the conversation ends. And also, what happens when you do it that way, I can't make a spontaneous de decision because if I'm really watching the bottom line, I don't know how much that balloon or that teddy bear or that box of chocolates might cost me. So if you wanna have a, a big impact on your Valentine sales this year, and for that matter, you can carry this beyond Valentine's Day, offer a suggestion. Make a difference in the way you engage customers and make a suggestion. So what I will be saying to customers after I sell them their primary item, I will say, for example, as a compliment to her roses, we can attach ha a happy Valentine's balloon. They're just $5. As a finishing touch, we can include a box of our delicious locally made truffles. A 10 piece box is just X dollars. As a finishing touch, I can attach a tall pink teddy bear to your daughter's flowers. They're just X dollars. So it's not a question, it's a statement, it's a suggestion, it's advice. Customers like it, customers respond to it. And I promise you this, it's not gonna be a deal breaker. In the near 30 years that I've been taking orders, I've never ever, ever, ever had somebody say, how 
dare you offer me a balloon to make my Valentine flowers more romantic. Just cancel the sale. So please let go of that antiquated thinking that you're somehow being pushy or leaning on a customer. To the contrary, they like these, they want them, they would need to hear about them. Final point in our quick shop talk with Tim's series is make an extra sale. In other words, it doesn't hurt to ask. And here is what I do. And this is effective. I've been doing this for a long time. It doesn't work all the time. You might want to ask with discretion, but here's the bottom line. After I sell a gentleman his flowers for his wife or whomever, especially now because of COVID, I think there's, there's incredible opportunity here. I will be asking them, are there any other ladies that you want to remember at Valentine's Day? Are there any other ladies you like to send flowers and throw out the idea of your daughter, maybe your mom, your mother-in-law? Again, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And historically when I've done this, I get about one out of four customers who will place another order. And sometimes it's it's small. It's maybe just a, a, a bud vase for, for his daughter. Those add up. But what I'm thinking is this year because of COVID, this will probably spark more customers to maybe remember his elderly shut-in neighbor or his mom that he hasn't been able to see. And he normally wouldn't send flowers. This is also a really opportune moment for you to tap into the fact that you are a member of Flower Shop Network, because you can embellish this and say, you know, it doesn't matter where she is, we've got great connections throughout the world. We can get flowers sent anywhere. And if you are consistent, if you are diligent about this, you will theoretically or hypothetically increase your Valentine's sales by maybe 10%. Massage this language. If you don't like my exact verbiage, that's fine. You can make it your own. You're not, you're not tied to this, but it's the concept that I want to put out there for you that you're creating awareness in a customer's mind that it's not just about the traditional um, order, that there are other possibilities and other opportunities. So those are my three professional bits of advice for you. I've got Rebecca from my office who is with us um, to um, help along to see if anybody has any questions. So right now, everybody is muted. If you do want to ask a question, there's a little icon next to your name that looks like a hand. Just click on that, and that will alert us. We can unmute your microphone. As long as you're on a laptop and not a, a big um, traditional desktop computer that doesn't have a microphone, we'll be able to hear you. If you want to type in a message, you can do that. Some people no pun intended, literally are wallflowers and don't like to talk in these environments. I get that, totally fine. So Rebecca, welcome, um, but just let me know, do we have any any questions or comments that have been typed in or any hands going up? No, not anything so far. Um, keeping my eyes open though. Okie dokie, for sure. And for that matter, while we pause for a moment, if you don't have questions relevant to the topics I just discussed, if you want to take this opportunity to maybe throw out an idea for a future topic. We already do have our set topics for March and April, but the whole idea behind the Shop Talk with Tim series is to give you a little bit of professional insight, give you some perspective beyond just the scope of your store, so you literally can hear what other successful flower shops are doing regardless of location Tim. or size. Sorry, Tim, I got a couple hands raised, so I'm gonna unmute uh, Robin Young real quick. Okay, great. Hey, Robin. She looks like they're self-muted. Um, oh, okay. So you want, yeah. Click on. Okay, there we go. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hey. Um, not, not just necessarily Valentine's, but every day also. Um, how do you handle the question of, can you take a picture of that for me and send it to me? Because we just can't do it. We just don't have time. I'm just wondering how you handle that question. We we actually, we, we talked about that in Valentine Boot Camp. There are quite a few layers to that. There are, it, it, it's hard for me to give you a definitive answer right now, but I, I will tell you this. If you can't do it, here here's kind of a workaround and you can use this for Valentine's Day. You could just say, um, at this busy holiday, we're just short staff. We don't have the staff to do that, but you're welcome to go onto our website. All of those images were shot here in our store and they're gonna match up with what you're ordering. And you can get away with that at Valentine's Day just because we know, you know, collectively most of our customers are kind of ordering the same thing. But um, that's something we'll talk about in a future session because, yes, it's an increasing demand. Customers want that. 
And um, I will say, I think it's a horrible idea to try to um, charge a customer for it. You're, you're not gonna win any friends doing that. I hope that answer helped. Yep, thanks. Of course. All right, we got one other. We've got Rachel Brown, I'll unmute her. Hey, Rachel. She's still, there we go. Okay, is that, is that good? Yep, I yep. can hear you. Awesome, okay, I was just wondering if you could repeat the phrasing when we need to offer a suggestion about trying to make a sale instead of asking the question, do you want to add? Right. You gave a okay. couple of sam sample phrases. So uh, what basically the, 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 the grammatical construction is you turn it into a bit of, of, of advice or a, a suggestion. So I will say to a customer, uh, once I've sold him his roses, I will say, and we can add to your roses or you can personalize your flowers with a, an I love you balloon. You can say, for example, after you sell the main item, you know it's for a youngster. Um, we can also attach a happy, um, we can attach a pink teddy bear to her flowers. You can okay. say, to personalize the sale, to complete your gift, to embellish your flowers. Any one of those are kind of like verbal bridges into the item that you're gonna mention. But again, it's critical that you give the price at the end. So the customer can make you know, a kind of spontaneous decision. And then when you give them the total at the end, there's no sticker shock. That's a nice added bonus. Right, awesome, thank you so much. You are quite welcome. Any others out there, Rebecca? Doesn't look like any more hands are raised, no. Okay, well, let's continue and just tell you a couple of things that we've got um, lined up for you. So again, Many of you prior today didn't know about me, and hopefully this our short time together has given you insight into my perspective and and my scope and experience. Um, the company, my company, Floral Strategies, has an amazing program, if I do say so myself. We meet once a month. We just met yesterday. It's called the Profitable Florist Club, and I think you know the name says it all. It's kind of like a blown up version of this. It's 90 minutes. It's really intense. We have guest speakers. We have that we give away free product. We have open mics, so everybody's talking back and forth. We plot, we plan, we strategize. So if you wanna get more from us, more training, work with us and really help to grow your business, uh, this is something to look into. So we're gonna give you some information on that. Here's what I'd like you to, um, to uh, be prepared with. Um, if you haven't bought Valentine Bootcamp, it's money well spent. It's over three hours of material and it covers everything from sales and design to customer service and dealing with COVID and keeping staff morale high and, and also on the nitty gritty and language about upselling and dealing with customer service issues. Mark your calendar. We're gonna meet every month on the first Wednesday. That's kind of our timeline. And next month, we're gonna talk in some more detail about boosting your outgoing business, making better value, um, getting more benefits from your Flower Shop Network uh, membership. We have a YouTube channel. You can search it now, Floral Strategies, but we'll send you a link. Uh, again, I'd like you to sample some of what we do, some of our design training, customer service training, sales training, and uh, get you on board for, uh, for our full um, program. And as always, if you do need to reach out to FSN, you've got their, um, their email address, you've got the website, here is the phone number. Before we do wrap it up though, I do want to um, welcome um, Jackie Branch as a word from our sponsor, so to speak. She is the customer support manager at Flower Shop Network. I've had the good fortune of working with her for a number of years now, even when I've been out at their headquarters in lovely Paragould, Arkansas. So you wanna jump in and join us, Jackie? Hey, Tim, I'd, I would love to. And we love floral strategies because we know how well they work. Thank you. Um, so I wanted to bring up that with the Flower Shop Network websites, if you have a website with us, one of the easy features that we have, uh, we've just expanded on it, is add-on items. Um, you can now have nine add-on items uh, that the customer is shown at the final uh, checkout layer where they can add that box of chocolates or balloons or whatever add-on items sell great out of your store to get you that extra profitability. So it's wonderful. Can add a bundle, Jackie? Well, they can add a bundle any on any page of the website that they awesome. want to. Uh, so they can have it both ways. Okay, that's that's fantastic. Yes, and I, I and and this is something that is 
has the potential to become a really big revenue stream. One of the things that we talk about in our formal training program, and anybody can actually see this, is that when you run the analytics, historically, when a customer shops on your website versus visiting your store or calling, they spend a lot more money. There are many reasons to that, and that'll be a future conversation. But the one takeaway is they buy many more add-ons, many more balloons, teddy bears, chocolates, candles, et cetera. Why? Because it's presented to them. And now FSN is making it even easier. And with nine slots, that's awesome. There, you could have like even come up with three or four different bundles for Valentine's Day. Well, um, thank you, Jackie, and thank you uh, to Flower Shop Network for bringing us um, together. Thanks to all of you for finding 15 minutes this afternoon. We know you're busy, but um, it's good to know that when there's education afoot that you can scramble your day and make some time for us. So we look forward to seeing you on a future session. Be safe and have a great Valentine's Day. Good night, everybody.